Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for November 20th through the 26th, Thanksgiving week, guys. Um, hope everyone has an opportunity to connect with family and friends this week. Um, I am going to begin by pulling from the Sacred Destiny to get the underlying theme for the week. And then I've pulled my Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck back out to uh, get our daily energies. So we're going to find out what the, what's coming in for Leo. And these are general. Take them as they resonate. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. You might watch all three of those to gain more insight as to what's coming in this week. If you like the reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I do welcome your interaction. And of course, you can hit that subscribe or that notification bell. Let's see what we have coming in. Please, Spirit, for Leo for this coming week. What, what's coming in for Leo, please? What's coming in for Leo? Leo. All right, Leo. Solitude. Solitude. Might be hard to find some solitude this week as it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, but you might find a day or an hour even for solitude. Let's see what, what she says here on solitude. Spend some time alone. In your life, this means to take your own counsel rather than relying on the opinions and dictates of others. Break away from the crowd. Be on your own. This card also speaks of self-resourcefulness, self-reliance, and tenacious individuality. If you're working on a project, trust your instincts and follow your own lead. Your creativity is at its peak. Let it flow. If you're in a relationship that is disempowering, this card suggests that it's time to step away. Take time to reassess your life. In solitude, you will thrive. This card also suggests safe haven, a sacred womb for incubation and self-transformation. Mmm, nice. All right. Let's see what we have from the tarot, please. What do we have for Sunday? Sunday, please. Sunday, the Queen of Swords. Um, a little bit of an icy setting here. Um, you want to tap into that higher knowledge, wisdom, intelligence without being completely indifferent toward others. <clears throat> um, you're taking time for solitude here, listening to your own guidance, but don't be cold and indifferent toward others. Uh, gain the insight, the wisdom you need to move forward, um, but um, do consider others at the same time. We have four. Step into your poor power, your authority. Exercise that intelligence, that insight, that wisdom that you have. All right. We have for Monday, please. Monday, we have the Three of Wands. Look at that. Stepping forward. We're, <laughs> we're out of that icy energy and now into this passion, this warmth, uh, this desire to move in a new direction. And uh, there's a sense of adventure to this card, a stepping out into the unknown, but something um, that is heartfelt, that is your desire, something close to your heart. Okay, um, then on Tuesday, we have the Queen of Coins, another queen. Business savvy, uh, financial success, prosperity, security. Also very nurturing, Leo. This is actually your card. Uh, this is you stepping into your power. Um, 
utilizing those qualities that are within you to create abundant success and to be nurturing. Let's see what we have for Wednesday. Oh goodness, Ace of Wands, but it's reversed. Usually this is a new beginning. <clears throat> Passionate, fiery. Opportunity, insight. Perhaps uh, you're at a bit of a standstill here, unable to move forward to see that new beginning. Unsure of your passions and desires. Uh, just trust spirit, trust universe. Uh, go within. Again, take some time for solitude. Connect with yourself. What do you desire? All right, Thursday. No. Sorry, guys. Butterfingers here. I just dropped a bunch of cards. All right. Let's try that again. Please, what do we have on Thursday? All right, Thursday, the chariot. So Thursday, the opportunity comes to move forward. Uh, Wednesday, there's a need to go within because you're not seeing the opportunity. Um, you're not, it's not there. You don't see it. Uh, perhaps it's just because you need to take that time to go within, to discover what you truly desire, what you truly want. And then here on Thursday, the opportunity is coming for you to move forward towards your victory, your success in that direction, that right direction. What do we have on Friday, please? Friday. World card on Friday. Opportunity, yes. Possibilities. Um, things are working in your favor. You've taken that step forward in the right direction. Uh, spirit universe is working in your favor. Your um, possibilities of success are very present. Okay, what do we have for Saturday, please? Saturday is the Two of Swords. Okay. There might be a decision that needs to be made. There may be an area where you're not seeing the complete picture. Uh, take off the blindfold. Gain clarity, wisdom, intellect, insight into a situation where you need to make a decision. Choose wisely. Um, look at things from every perspective, every angle. Take off that blindfold. See if there isn't something that you are missing. Make sure you have all of your information before you make the decision. All right. Let's see what we have, please, in closing. Or Leo. Leo, what do we have in closing for Leo? All right. The storyteller. The storyteller. Hmm. The storyteller. Let me look that up. Oop, just passed it. The storyteller. Do you know the story you tell others about who you are? You are a unique being with unique talents and a story unique to you and your experience. In fact, your destiny 
can be found in the way you weave together these threads of your life. Oh, I'm sorry. These threads of yourself in the world. If there's anything in your life you want to change, then it's time to adjust the story you tell about yourself. Perhaps you're too self-deprecating or apologetic about how you shine, minimizing your power so others will accept you. Perhaps the way you voice your expectations diminishes your ability to succeed, or you are too willing to tolerate a less than supportive environment. It's easy to be in denial when it comes to others and their behavior toward you. Connect to your true power as a co-creator of your reality. Soon the outer world, where are we, wait a minute. In fact, practice speaking of your amazing success, your overflowing abundance, and all the love that surrounds you. Soon the outer world will tell the same story back to you. Some corner in here. Sorry, my low battery light just came on. <laughs> just in time. Uh, Othala, this is all about tradition. It's about family ties, support. Okay, it talked about support. It talked about what you present to the world. Um, or perhaps there's beliefs that you believe that have been instilled in you from childhood by family members. Release that. The old traditions, uh, the old beliefs, the old programming uh, from the past, from your childhood that has been instilled in you that no longer serves you, that doesn't serve that higher purpose, you need to release that. Perhaps you need to step out of tradition out of uh, what you have been raised with. Step into your own, your truth, who you are, um, and take the opportunities that present themselves to you. Uh, gain an understanding of who you truly are and move forward. This is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.